As mentioned in the previous video, if you are attempting to convert borehole lithology data to eye data such as hydraulic conductivity or porosity, you will need to use a conversion table if the lithology G values don't represent the desired eye data values. These conversion tables are ASCII tab delimited text files that contain lithologic terms followed by a tab character, not a space character or a comma, and the eye data value that is to be substituted for the lithologic keyword or keywords. In this example, note how both clay and fault gouge will be assigned an eye data value of 1.0. This is not possible when using the lithology G values, as we did in the previous video, to perform the conversion since each lithotype must have a unique G value. To perform the conversion, select the lithology, lithology to eye data, Lithology G values to conversion table to iData column option. Enter the name of your conversion table and select the name of an existing iData column in which to save the converted data. Now, if we look at the iData for all of the boreholes, we'll see that the hydraulic conductivity column has been populated with the G values as translated by the conversion table from the corresponding lithologic intervals. If we compare the cross section from the previous exercise using lithology G values with I data based on the conversion table, the differences are quite noticeable. Not surprisingly, the differences between the model based cross sections are also quite obvious.